Hey guys, I'm Sleepy, <laughs> and today I'm so nervous for this specific video because I'm giving advice in this video, and I've been I'm I feel like I'm not that great at giving advice, even though I there's no evidence of that. <laughs> I'm just so nervous for this, but we're gonna today we're gonna be giving advice on comics. I just want to give like I guess a warning or I don't know that this is coming from someone who's never finished a comic. I've started them, never finished them. Uh so yeah. So you don't have to listen you also don't have to listen you don't have to listen to my advice. This is something I wanted to come up with. Just to help some people that have no idea how to even start because that's me. I'm one of those people that like at first I had no idea how to even start a comic. I'm like what am I even gonna start it with or what do i do and then like like how do i go through the process before i even actually start the comic because you have to do a bunch of things to, in my opinion you have to do a lot of things before you even start it so yeah uh this is for those people who actually want to listen if you don't want to have you if you want someone i guess telling you what to do not that i'm gonna try they like, tell you what to do like in a demanding way just like giving advice you know i'm so nervous to do this <laughs> but like yeah so yeah i'm not you don't have to take my advice i'm just saying like so yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm just silent. Like I'm so nervous to do this. Yeah, but you don't have to take my advice if you don't want it. It's fine. Like. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Okay. So the first note I have, because I wrote notes, because I'm really nervous to do this, is to come up with an idea. And I feel like coming up with an idea really depends on the genre that you're doing. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, I'm probably playing a video of, guys I haven't done the drawing yet, but I'll probably be playing a video of me drawing something for a comic that I plan on doing. Because I do plan on making a comic at least one day, sometime. <laughs> I, I, I really want to make a comic. That's just something y'all know, that's probably what's going to be playing. I haven't done it yet, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways... Uh, yeah, coming up with an idea. I feel like it really depends on the genre, because if it's, like, yeah, it really just depends on the genre that you're doing, and, like, what you like. But what I do personally is that I make a list of things I want in my story, like, just random, like, not name, not random, like, names, but, like, random things, like, if I want magic, I'll put magic on this list, and I, I want magic, I want, uh one character main character to be this person now this make a list a random list of anything you want to be in your story and then like try to take out or put in things that make look like it'll make sense i don't i don't know things on that demand i just this is how i've been doing it i don't know if it's working or not like but at least it helps me start like it really helps me start like, I get somewhere, but I never finish. But so I don't, I don't know if this is like not good or not. I don't know what that means about my advice, but this someone's trying to give advice. So I hope, I hope someone, at least one person, likes it. I guess. But yeah, kind of, yeah. Really, I feel like it really depends on the genre and what you like and what you want in your story. So yeah. Uh, yeah, like if. As I said, make a list of things you want in your story and try to make sen the list make sense. And if things don't make sense, then take out the things that you won't, don't make sense or don't make sense to you. I don't know what else to explain it. It's just that I, I feel like you would want uh, something to, to make sense and to, and something that's concrete in a way. And this is just my advice, okay? Like, yeah, come up with an idea by list, and then I feel like every time I do that, I, then I somehow come up with a story that I like, or that sounds cool to me. Like, cause there's this one idea that I had where like I came, I was like magic, uh, wizards, uh, this or that, and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I can make make this connect to that, and like all this other stuff, and it and it kind of worked out for me. So I that's how I do it, and okay. So yeah, that's how I do it, personally. And like, you connect the dots, basically, of things that you want. And like, also when it comes to like, character personalities, connect those dots too. It's like, oh, I want a character that's this personality or that personality. And have the, another character have this personality, this, un this other per type of personality. And make it like, connect in a way, like, oh, they could be either enemies or friends or whatever in said story. So I feel like that could make sense, I hope. <laughs> So yeah, okay, on to number two. 
Okay, so next we will be coming up with the plot things, the plot stuff, as I am calling it, I guess. So basically, yeah, the beginning, middle, and end of your story. Or also you could use, like, the, sto uh, the story skeleton structure. That's a good one that you can do, is figure out your story skeleton. Because it leaves things open if you want to change certain things, but also keeps you grounded in a way. So that's a good, also a really good method, using the story skeleton, like, for example, Pixar story skeleton. I forgot how it goes because I, I have it on, in my notebook that I have, my ideas notebook, but I don't have it with me right now, so like, and I'm not going to go get it, so yeah. But yeah, come, when it comes to coming up with a beginning middle and I feel like a story skeleton is like one of the best ways to do it. And, and so, this is the thing that I'm not that good at, along with coming up with backgrounds. Those two things, I'm not that good at. So this is kind of hard for me to give advice on that, but I feel like the story skeleton is one of the best ways to do it and it leaves things open but also structured in a way that it w that will make your story make sense so i feel the story itself is the best way to do that so if you don't want to follow a story skeleton at least make sure you have some kind of like event thing and make sure your events at least connect in a way that makes sense because if it doesn't then you're really going to think like, how do you get from point a to point a to point b like what? Like, is that's because that's me when I read stories or read comics that don't make sense. I'm like, huh? I'm like, how do we get here? <laughs> so, I don't read a lot of stories like that because if, if I read a story that I don't like or it doesn't make sense, I'll obviously stop reading it because duh. But if, like, if it doesn't make, make sure the plots connect in a way. And if you're not sure, then ask someone who has experience, <coughs> excuse me, in with that field. Like, ask someone who knows, don't ask, like, someone that, like, doesn't really know, obviously, what they're talking about, because then you'll be, because I don't think that's going to work out <laughs> if you ask someone that doesn't know what they're talking about, but ask, like, a third party their opinion on your story, and if that makes sense, if you're not sure, but if, if you can make, if, if you can do that, and you know it makes sense, then do that, is what I'm trying to say, <laughs> uh, Cause I, and that's, this is the thing, I, that's my weakness, I feel like it's flawed stuff, because I'm like, I don't know how to connect dots properly. So yeah, I, I don't know, like, I'm not good at that. So yeah, I, I feel like, and I always, uh, I try to get a third party thing whenever I can from a friend that I have. So yeah, uh, yeah, come up with, coming up with a foster is kind of difficult, but I feel like if you have, again, that list, of things then it's gonna i hope anyways i'm not saying it's gonna work out because you're you're gonna have to you know use your brain on that to make things work out and make things make sense but hopefully by doing you know you thinking hard about it if could you if you want the story to be it won't be just like you imagined but it'll be close that's your that's your goal i feel like it's you want it to be close to what you imagine it won't be exactly like that it won't be perfect but it'll be something that you would want to be something that you are somewhat proud of, I feel like. Okay, <laughs> so, on to step three, okay. Okay, so next is design characters, which is personally my favorite part of the process, because you get to design them mentally and like their personalities and stuff, but also physically in their outfits, because I'm talking about specifically for a comic. Uh, and design what they're wearing and stuff like that, character design, that's my passion, that's what I love to do. So I feel like that's really fun, and I, my, I feel like my advice on character design is make sure, like, when it comes to physically, make sure they have, they, they're not just wearing stuff that just looks cool. I mean, you want to have a balance, you want to have them wearing stuff that just looks cool, or not that just looks cool, but you want them to wear stuff that looks cool, and appealing but also make sense for their character for example if you're here with a doctor and you would also want them to be somehow holding or having or have like uh doctor supplies and stuff like that and if your character is like a policeman or a, pol a police or part of the police i don't know uh you would want them to have things that police officers have and like stuff like that and you always have to do research on those type of things so it really depends on who your character is and what their role is in the story but that's gonna make, that's gonna uh and that's gonna tie in with their personality as well because because it's also gonna fit with the personality what 
because if they are if they're a shy type, then maybe they'll conceal certain things that they wear, or con con they'll conceal certain things about themselves. And I might might include what they wear. It depends on what kind of character they are. Because if it's something like a uniform, then maybe they can't. But if it's something that they can choose to design, then they'll probably will conceal it in something that they are like. For example, if they have a scar that and they're and that's something like a painful memory that they don't like then they'll try to conceal it and then you can fit that into their design as well i feel like <laughs> this is that's just a random example i came up with on the spot by the way uh <laughs> but yeah this it really is gonna just depend on what their personality is i feel like their personality ties in with what their design is going to be because you want things to make sense especially physically with their design you want them to wear things that make sense for their personality and for who they are as a character you don't want them wearing stuff that just like random stuff that doesn't make any sense like why do they have this why do they have that whenever they don't even need it basically but you also don't want to be too strict too because you want to balance i feel like because if it's too strict then what's the, when, then it's like it's not fun anymore really so you want a balance of things is that's my advice on character design which is my favorite thing so i don't know i hope this is strong advice <laughs> but okay on to the next one okay so the next one is backgrounds also I forgot to mention something but now i want i rethought it i was like oh wait that doesn't make sense so i forgot i'm just, I'm just saying i don't know i don't think i have to mention it but yeah okay so step um step okay, the next step okay is backgrounds and i feel like with backgrounds you specifically want to design the thing for the first chapter or first episode or first whatever that you have because later on because you want to change something and you make a decision for something later on and, and then when you get to that later on point and you can't change it now because it's too late then like it's gonna suck if you want to change something so i feel like i feel like you should design your background specifically for the first chapter and not like and once you get to that next chapter, or next episode, or next whatever, then you can design all of it for that full chapter, or full or full episode, or full whatever for for your comic or whatever you want to call it for your comic. Yeah. And <laughs> and then you design all of it, your background. It also includes like story stuff as well. Like you want to design all your story stuff, like all of it, for that one chapter, and then you can go to the next one and design all of it because your next chapter might be like who knows how many pages long. I'm not sure. What, however, you would want to structure it. So you would want to base that off of. You would want to base your design of said background or story or and a lot of things like scripts too as well, based off of. Uh, you want to base that off of your structure or the way you would want to structure it because it's all on you because it's the way you want to do it because it's your comic <laughs> i don't know what to say it like it's your comic do what you want but keep keep certain things in mind as you do them i feel like that's hopefully uh sound advice so yeah um backgrounds are again something i'm not really strong at but Make sure if it's like, for example, a character's home, you're one of the main characters' home, then like make it make that based off of your main character, and have things that the main character would use in said home. That's just a random example. Cause if it's something like something outside, like a like a landscape of sort, then I'm like you wouldn't really do that cause it's not for the main character. So like I guess when it comes to like landscapes and stuff. Just design it how like I feel like you would draw it, cause it also has to fit the style that you're drawing in. Cause if you're drawing something cartoony, then you want your trees to be cartoony, you want the grass to be cartoony, so it can match. But if you want something like realistic, then draw your trees realistically and your grass realistically and houses realistically. Depend all depends on your style really. But you want to design the background to fit with the story as well. Is that's my advice for that on background and those types of things like just design it around what your story is because it all depends on the genre in the end i feel like because different genres i feel like demand different things and so yeah uh yeah backgrounds are not my strong suit but i'm trying to give advice <laughs> okay so next is making the script that, and this is the last part that i thought of i might be missing something so if you 
can think of more things that you want to add in your comic, then uh, leave it in the comment section below so I know. And so I'll be like, and then I'll probably comment under there, being like, oh my god, I completely forgot about that, bruh. <laughs> like, so, uh, if I forgot something, I'm sorry. <laughs> but next, though, this is the last part is scripts. And scripts, it all, I feel like your scripts and your dialogue all depend on your character's personality. Because if it's like a shy character, then maybe you want to add like a stutter, or or if they're not that confident, then you want to add like a stutter, or like a. Uh, and I'm not that good at scripts also because I feel like my, my characters sound like robots half the time <laughs> when I really think about it. So, uh, yeah. I'm just really good. I feel, I'm not really good at character design. I'm not that confident, but like, I'm okay at character designs and everything else. I'm like. I gotta think about it. I mean, story stuff, like, world building I'm good at, so that's something, like, cause I like world building, world building's fun, but, yeah, okay, so, scripts, <laughs> scripts, is, I feel like, specifically for dialogue, it's all, and what they do, it's gonna depend on your story, obviously, cause, and, like, you're gonna wanna write what they do, that's, that's how I write my script, I just write, oh, this character does this, and I describe it in, like, a new way that makes sense. So if you describe it in detail, then maybe that's because you want things to be detailed so you know. But if you want to describe things like normally or with not, not much thought, that's because you want to um, do things about... Because you can understand things, normal dialogue or normal <coughs> writing without much thought and it's easy for you. So it really just depends on how you understand things and how your brain operates, I feel like. So... Yeah, writing scripts and writing dialogue specifically is something I'm not that good at. I'm gonna be honest, but I'm trying to get his eyes, so what can you do? Uh, it's accept and improve. And try and improve and try your best. That's something you can do. But uh, dialogue, y'all just gonna depend really on your character's personality. Because if you have a shy character, again, as I said, then you wanna add like a stutter, or if you're not that confident, then you would have some kind of you wish that their thoughts are not that confident thoughts but if it's like uh if it's like a more outspoken character then they're gonna speak honestly speak more like outspoken like i feel like one thing is so obvious but i feel like it really just depends on your character's personality that's all i can ever really think of and say is that it depends on their personality and how you write dialogue specifically it all depends on you and their personality and their character and all of that and how they would act like and so you would base off of that and if you want to make like jokes and humor, then that's going to depend on your sense of humor, I guess. And humor is subjective, so, like, I don't know how to give advice on the, on humor and writing and stuff. That's something else. Huh? That's a whole other can of worms for me. <laughs> but anyways, that's basically it. <laughs> that's my advice. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope my advice was sound enough for at least one person to... Listen, cause this is just like a combination of a bunch of different videos that I've watched and the advice I've gotten from a bunch of different videos and I just cr scrum scramble it all into one video for that I made and this is like advice I think from a bunch of different like people I admire and stuff like that. Like, I don't know, they're like role models to me basically. I don't want to be a fangirl but like I, there's certain artists that like I really like and I take advice from them all the time. <laughs> Or you try to. So this is the video. I hope you enjoyed. See you later. Bye.